terrifying cursed objects that actually exist. We recently told you about the many cursed jewels of the world, but you don't have to have a shiny rock to have your life destroyed by an otherworldly evil. Plenty of items have terrible curses on them, which can hurt, harass or outright murder people. Here are 10 items that you never want to mess with. Robert the Doll Robert the Doll is not messing around. In 1906, a mistreated servant of the Otto family imbued a doll with dark spirits, and gave it as a gift to the youngest son of the Otto family, Robert, who named the doll after himself. His parents said that they could hear their son speaking to the doll all evening, and that they could even hear the doll responding in a guttural voice. After Robert passed away, the doll moved on to a new home where it allegedly attacked a young girl, and was seen roaming the hallways. The doll is now kept in the East Martello Museum where you have to ask permission to take his picture. If he doesn't say it's cool, you get cursed. This is even more creepy, and will definitely give more nightmares than Robert. The Haunted Small Doll For some reason, eBay doesn't filter out cursed or haunted items. Honestly, you'd think it would be the first thing they would do. Since the Dybbuk box made such a splash in the headlines, it would make sense that all sorts of cursed items would start popping up online. You can actually bid on this cursed doll now, but that doesn't mean you should. 1. Because it's junk, and 2. Because in the words of its seller, I kept it in a display case on a lower shelf and never touched it. When I went to dust it was on the top shelf. I live alone. This is not a joke. When I went to dust it was on the top shelf. I live alone. This is not a joke. The phone number plus 359 888 888 888. The three people who had this phone number all died a terrible death. One died of an alleged radioactive poisoning, while the other two holders of the number were gunned down. One while on a date, the other while having lunch. It kind of sounds like all three of these guys were targets for the mafia or a government death program. Or maybe that's what the curse wants you to think. Thomas Busby's chair. This chair is so cursed that if you sit on it, you're going to die. Obviously everyone is going to die. But this chair just speeds up the process. A little backstory. Thomas Busby was a nasty guy who murdered his father in 1702. And a chair that he liked to sit in was thought to be unlucky after multiple people died after sitting on it. Now, the chair is suspended in the Thirst Museum where no buts can come in contact with it. Annabelle the Doll A lot of people know Annabelle from The Conjuring, or maybe from the movie Annabelle, all about her murderous exploits. But this creepy doll is no piece of fiction. It actually belonged to a nursing student named Donna, who had to have her home exorcised by a priest after the doll attacked one of her friends. Delhi Purple Sapphire After stealing this gem from the Temple of Indra in 1857, Colonel W. Ferris almost immediately fell into economic disrepair. Then a friend of his committed suicide while wearing the gem. Sometime later, a friend of Oscar Wilde's had the gem and fell into a series of misfortunes that led him to throw away the sapphire three times. After each attempt to rid himself of the gem, it would reappear at his home. The Crying Boy Painting
One of the more interesting haunted items, The Crying Boy was a mass-produced painting by Bruno Amadio that was distributed in post-war England. All of a sudden, the houses in which the paintings were hung caught on fire. Not at the same time, but you get it. The only thing to survive the flames? The Crying Boy. Firefighters began to believe that the paintings were cursed. After some research in 2010, it was discovered that the paintings were coated in a fire repellent which usually saved them and was the reason so many survived the fires. Anna Baker's Wedding Dress Well, we have captured voices speaking on tape. Anna Baker's Cursed Wedding Dress is just one of the many haunted items in the Baker Mansion which boasts at least two ghosts and disembodied screams coming from the ice room. But the most haunted room is supposedly the room where Anna's wedding dress is kept encased in glass. Her dad didn't care much for her bow so he kicked the young man to the curb and gave the dress to another lady in town. Big mistake, dad. Anna never remarried and now the dress supposedly moves of its own volition while inside the glass case. The Bassano Vase this vase is thought to be one of the most haunted objects in the world. Good thing it's allegedly locked in a coffin that's been buried in a mystery spot. The vase was given to a woman in northern Napoli as a wedding gift, and then she was murdered and the vase moved through her family, bringing deaths with it, in 1988. The vase was found with a note that said, Beware. This vase brings death. Little Bastard Fifty-eight years ago, on this road, in a Porsche just like this one, a young Hollywood actor named James Dean became a legend. Some say his 550 Spider was cursed. A little, little Bastard was James Dean's Porsche 550 Spider, which he bought while filming Rebel Without a Cause. One week after purchasing the car, he died in a car crash. But Little Bastard didn't stop there. The guy who sold Dean the car bought the body and it fell off a trailer, maiming a mechanic. Then, when someone tried to steal the car, the thief ripped his arm open on the steering wheel. The car disappeared during transportation and hasn't been seen since. The Dybbuk Box The Dybbuk Box is actually a wine cabinet from the 1920s that made its way through multiple eBay buyers, beginning in 2001. Each buyer reported being visited by similar nightmares of an old hag and various ailment. The box was finally purchased by a museum director and sealed it away in a secret location. The Woman from Lem Statue The Woman from Lem might look like something from a Tim Burton sex dream, but it's actually super cursed. It's so cursed that most people refer to WFL as the goddess of death, beginning with Lord Elephant and his family. Every duke, sir, and lord whose own this statue has died a horrible death. After hundreds of years of wiping out entire families, the statue was donated to the Royal Scottish Museum. Let's show us your feeling about this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for your watching.